Hi everyone, it's Thrill Pascal again, and this is Citizen Motion 2, the second episode of Buzz It Up. And well, let's take a look at what we've done. I've built two more tro trolleybus lines in the meanwhile. So, one of them is line number one. It goes from this fancy triangle uh, as an interchange through these streets, uh, crossing with bus line 2, all the way to this little loop on the end, around the building, and it serves, it serves uh, many, many white color workplaces. The second line actually connects this, uh, this residential district with some Malaysia places. Uh, through some more resident residential districts to the commercial district right here. And it actually gets really loads of passengers because I had some I had some issues with uh, with overcrowding and and some issues with the timetables, but now it seems working. And what I'd like to show you is how how people interchange right here. So I hope I will be getting uh, a trolley bus will be arriving in a in a short time. Let's see this one. It's coming. Yep. So I will wait. I will wait for this one as it has. It's like 150 percent passengers of the non overcrowded amount. So as you see, 31 passengers in a 20 place trolleybus so that's that's quite uh, quite compressing inside I'll disable the uh, the overlay so that things are more visible okay this is uh, actually one stop before our interchange. Let's speed it up. Okay, there we go. All these people get out of the trolley bus and start rushing all the way here to the second line. Let's see where they go. Yep. They all load these stops and give and give some more challenge to these trolleybuses running on line 2 actually there's another another overloaded one I will be looking into that a little later I think I'll be able to actually tweak the schedules tweak the timetables because one one trolleybus can be can be just fine and another one can get overcrowded so that that needs some some more uh, uh, deeper, deeper look inside. But for now, I will just, I'll, I can say that it's working just okay, and I can deal with the problems later. Anyway, I think I'll build another line as I wanted to connect some blue color workplaces, which are c located mostly right here in this district. And what can what I can do is to connect uh, connect it with a bus line to this trolleybus interchange. And this will be I think this will be a nice nice thing to do. Okay, so let's start building. I will have the overlay uh, the data overlay active and start building some stops. I think. many how many workers are there in those buildings around let's say 20 25 18 20 15 okay so there aren't really many really not much workers right here 
And there are some bigger, bigger industrial buildings here uh, around these streets. So I think I will build a line that will go uh, this way. Okay. The short thing is I need a loop in this place so that my buses can can go back. Okay, let's say that will be fine. Then I need this and connect it to the back to the road. There we go. I have the loop. I can place the the rest of the stops now. Nice coverage I'm getting here. Yeah, so I'm actually covering lots of industrial buildings. A huge part of the zone. And yeah, are we placing some stuff? Yeah, this is a good spot too. As I will cover this factory. And then I think I need to cover this one too. I'll have frequent stops here, but I think that's no problem because intersections also have traffic lights, so that my bus always have to always has my buses always will have to wait some time. Oh come on, I'm so bad at English. <laughs> I think I have the stop, so let's make the line. I will need another bus depot. Let's see, do I demolish any building? I think I don't. Actually, the game has been patched to the version 116, and now I don't see the cost of demolishing, of demolishing the building when I'm building a depot. That's a bug, and I don't know if this f fits here. I hope it does. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. I didn't screw up. I didn't screw anything. Okay, great. And let's disable this. Okay. And let's build the line. It will be bus line 3. So, the line is ready, I'll pause the time so that my citizens don't get mad at me. And uh, yeah, let's see, It take the game says it takes about five and a half an hour to complete the circle, but I think it will be some more like, it will be li like eight hours, because yeah, these estimations aren't so accurate, and I think that eight hours is the time that it will get completed in. So let's tweak the timetable. Alright, now I need the vehicles, let's say I'll buy two big buses, two large buses, and two medium ones, I'll choose St Sternberger Majora this time, Majora, I think that's how it's spelled, okay, two of these, and we're ready to go. So I unpause the time and see what happens. Let's speed up the time so that I can see the line running. The buses running on the line. Uh, hang on. Okay, so I missed the last departure today, but it will be departing at 1 o'clock at night. Oh, well, we'll we'll have to wait for the next day to see the uh, to see the effect. <laughs> 